Yo, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while. I hope you guys are doing good. If you're watching this video right now, it means that the NBA Finals are officially over and your new reigning NBA champs are the Los Angeles Lakers. What the heck is that guy talking about? What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Shots by Mikey here. I know it's been a while. Have you guys missed me? Because I sure have missed you guys. So yeah, as you guys saw in the previous clip, this video was supposed to come out when the Lakers won the championship, which was well over two months ago. So that was the original plan, but things got derailed. Actually, my dog passed away and I was just super sad. I was in a rut and I really just cut myself off from everything. So I took a break from YouTube. I took a break from everything. All I did was go to school work on shoes, I didn't really interact with anyone, and I just really kept to myself, but now I'm ready to get back out there. This sounds like a very depressing eHarmony commercial. Holy shit. But yeah guys, in all seriousness, it was pretty much an emotional rut for me. I was just really stuck in one spot. I didn't really want to do anything. Um, that was my dog Kiki, you saw him in the midsole stitch video, the little cameo he did. I had him for 14 years, man, so it was just really tough on me. It was very sudden, so I didn't really get a chance to say goodbye. You know, we all have our grievances. Be sure to just cherish whoever your loved ones are, guys. Things are very sudden in life. Most of the times, we don't get to say goodbye. But what is going on, you guys? We have a banger today. We are back. It was supposed to be a custom for the Lakers championship, as you can see here. Los Angeles Lakers. For the record though, I'm a Warriors fan. But growing up, Kobe was my idol, man. That was my hero. I wanted to be everything like Kobe. I wanted to have that Mamba mentality in everything I do. And I still try to keep that mentality everywhere I go today. So even though I'm not a Lakers fan, I'm a really big fan of Kobe. I'm really happy that they brought that championship home to LA, to Staples, in honor of Kobe for his late passing this year. So to honor that championship, we're doing a Laker custom, but we're doing a Union colorway. I know what you're thinking right now, man. I am boring as hell. There are so many people who have done this custom. I'm just biting off other people people this is not original at all here's the thing guys i gave it the shots by mikey touch for me when i do a custom it's all about the fine details man i like to look at every single thing i like to put meaning behind things that shouldn't have meaning this is why i'm a pack rat i have sentimental value with almost everything i have but in all seriousness guys i have already done the custom i think they came out good but here's the thing i haven't done a custom like this ever this is my first crack at it and I think it came out pretty good. There's a lot of fine tuning that needs to be done, a lot of cleaning of the edges, but you guys are gonna see in the video. There's things I tried, I experimented with, it didn't work out, so I had to fix it, go back, and I don't know, I like the end product. So we are now no longer calling this the championship pack. We're gonna call this the ring ceremony because that just happened last night. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. This is gonna be the Jordan 1 Union Laker Ring Ceremony Custom. That was a goddamn mouthful, holy shit. What is good you guys, it is so good to be back. Let's go ahead and get everything prepped and get started. So we're first going to use our cotton rounds and acetone to remove that factory varnish from the leather. I've been making, making hits like I'm Bobby, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, drop the thing down to the floor. Long now famous, but my music on your phone. I'ma stay winning more, I've been keeping score. I'm not going to be using flat white to apply a base layer of two coats. I'm not going to be using a mixture of flat white, light gray, vanilla, and a little bit of duller to create an eggshell white for the upper heel. Don't mind the yellow on the upper eyelids, guys. I was trying to test around to see if I like yellow and I didn't actually like it. We're not gonna be using a matte black, a flat black with duller. We're gonna be using that for the upper eyelids as well as the heel and the uh, collar areas just because I want it to be a flat black. You can't turn this area into suede because of the type of leather it is, so we're gonna do the next best thing, which is gonna make it matte black. I'ma stay winning more, I've been keeping score. Got enough to live it, but I always want more. I've been working at it since I was young. 
We're now going to do a 70-30 ratio of do the right thing yellow and orange to create that vintage cut on the leather. Shout out to Volt 66 Studios for the proportions. This is easily the most tedious part of the custom. But that's not a flex, I just had to work till I had it. Success is a habit, I get my fix. I'm not gonna be using my sewing all along with some gold stitch to recreate that union stitching around the heel collar. We're gonna be going all the way around. Without a Lamborghini or a chain, I'd rather save it up and have a million to my name. Haters getting salty, y'all just sound so silly. If the milli's not enough, I'm gonna make the gates billy. You should learn to focus on winning, not focus on hate. Either way, I'm in the business, watch the money inflate. Like I'm Dennis, like I'm Jordan on my bullshit again. This that Far East movement from 2010. My people out in Shanghai buying 50 estates. Private jet east to west cost me 50 away. The rewards of self belief started paying me bundles. I've been building my castle, mining gold from the crumbles. I don't mumble, I rap. I spit then I snap. Run it back like I picked a fumble up like I'm mad. I saw a couple. Yo, hit that like button for me if you guys think that stitching is absolutely fire. My worth is in my mind, not in what I spent. Now I'm gonna use some Angelus yellow paint along with some Deller to give this shoe that Laker touch. But my life full of friends who are mad at me. When people see you change, there's a jealousy. But that shit was bound to happen, it was prophecy. Surround my team with wolves, that's the only way I move. Being best at what I do becomes the only thing to prove. But not to no one else, when we talking about me. If you think I'm the greatest, then I have to agree. All these accolades, and I'm still myself. And if you feel me, it's cause I feel myself. And I think I'm the best, no matter who's next. I already impressed, man, I don't need your help. If my life was a game, I don't need no revive. Kinda kill the objective, not only survive. Every day I feel blessed, I feel so alive. 2019. There's just something about clean tape lines that's just so satisfying. Give this video a like if you guys agree. And they love me and I love them and they're gonna take me and then we're gonna just on you. Now I'm going to measure out that union tag and try and recreate it using some excess leather that I have. We're going to be using an 18 karat gold paint to represent the Lakers championship. We're going to be coloring the tags gold and then having 2020 champs. Please excuse my handwriting guys, I couldn't have any stencils made in time. Now we're going to be using a stencil to recreate the Wings logo. We're going to do it in the same yellow as the swoosh. You're feeling down, feeling low. You'll never be alone. Not when you're right with me. Oh, I won't see no you and me. Every time the things get bad, promise I won't turn my back. Even if it takes some time, never wanna see you cry. Girl, you need to know. This life means sometimes that we fight. At least we're sitting side by side. And 
you guys know the chop to screw design of the Union 1s, we're going to be using some black along with some soft 2. We're going to be mixing that and then we're going to paint it onto the tongues to dye the tongues. We're then going to stitch it and recreate the Union stitching. Never gonna leave you behind Girl, you need to know this life means sometimes that we fight At least we're sitting side by side step guys do a little magic give them that vintage touch and let's go ahead and take a look at the final product yeah look voices be talking and telling me i ain't no one since back when my mama would pack me bologna for lunch on everything I knew it back since a young and was young hey when i make it to the grammys my grandma coming along yeah and I had my money right long before I started this shit This circle was small but already my brothers was lit And we've been the same since a jump, ain't nobody would flip And everything I wanted, I just been making a list Back on my bullshit again, yeah This shit fell right into place Driving up Mapleton Avenue, planning and scheming my future estate Ooh, plenty of money you see, ooh I'm trying to grow me some cheese, too Commas from one to a two, yeah Then from a two to a three Manifest what I believe, make it the way that I say. And she gon' be coming with me. Trust me, it's better this way. Splitting the bottle for two, we've been all over the place. And I can't remember what happened, but she like it better this way. And I got it all on my own. I brought it out of the mud. I had it ever since I was a youngin' and standing at six feet above. Yeah, I just been doing my work, getting my sleep, waking up early. Yeah, taking my vitamins, washing my sodium, eating my veggies, your herb. Hey, voices be talking and telling me I ain't no one. I swear. Since back when my mama would pack me bologna for lunch. On everything I knew it back since a youngin' was young. Hey, when I make it to the Grammys, my grandma coming along. And I had my money right long before I started this shit. And there you guys have it, the Jordan 1 ring ceremony. Union. Custom. Whatever you want to call it, that is a wrap. And in all honesty, guys, for never doing a custom like this, I think these came out pretty fire. I'm not hiding behind anything, though. I'm going to show you guys the flaws of this custom, the parts where I messed up. So first off, I know you all are laughing at this Union tag. Look at that handwriting, dude. My penmanship is not the best, but I tried my best. I kind of like it, though, just because it's my own personal touch. I was going to originally use a stencil, but I could not get one in time. In the, this measurement, it's actually pretty small. It's like two and a half centimeters. I probably could have done a better acronym. Funny thing is the top portion of the 2020 in the CHMP, it actually says Lake Show, but I wanted something to actually commemorate the championship for 2020. So we went with the 2020 champ. I tried to turn the collars into suede, right? You see these little patches right here? It looks like alopecia. It looks like some, dude. It looks like a scab. But uh, yeah, so I tried to turn the collars into suede. It did not work. This leather does not turn to suede cleanly. So after that, I saw the patches coming up. So we opted for a matte black to reenact that suede-like material on the Jordan 1 Union collars. Second flaw. When I taped up these heels, dude, the blue painter's tape actually pulled out some of the leather. The tape wasn't on there for super long, but it actually managed to stick adhere to the leather and it actually pulled out some of it. Uh, good thing though, because we vintaged out the leather. So 
that kind of wiped it away. So now that we're done with the custom, let me go ahead and break down the elements of the shoe that are on here, the details, the meaning behind the things I put on there, because it's not just a simple colorway. So just looking at it alone, we see that this is split into two shoes, like the original chopped and screwed concept of the Jordan 1 Union. The bottom portion here is gonna be the statement jerseys for the Los Angeles Lakers, which is mostly purple, black, and yellow. Um, I actually vintaged out the leather a little bit, made it a little bit more fade of a purple just to give it a more vintage look, uh, just like the older jerseys. And then the upper portion right here, the heel, this is going to be the home jerseys right here. So that's going to be predominantly white with touches of yellow. That's the two splits right here. We didn't go with any random OG colorway. I saw someone do a Laker Union Custom, but they did a neutral gray collar up here, which didn't make any sense to me but it was pretty cool so another detail we did was the 2020 this reads 2020 and this reads champ chmp not chimps champ so the reason we did this in gold instead of the union orange is because i wanted it to be a symbolic of a championship i wanted it to be symbolic of the o'brien trophy that's why we did it in gold it's symbolic of winning a championship the ship things come in gold I know it's a ring ceremony, I was gonna put some Swarovski crystals on here, but I don't got that kind of money. So we just went with gold paint. Some more symbolism on the shoe was that we went with a gold stitch right here. I guess it shows up a little bit more yellow in the video, but it's gold. The reason we went with the gold stitch is of course to represent a championship again, the O'Brien trophy, just to give it more hints of gold, to have it be more of a, I guess a luxury feel to it. I don't know how luxury you could get, this is like, $3 stitching. Originally I wanted to do the Nike Air on the tongue in gold as well but I felt like the black and purple was a nice touch. It kind of brought together the uppers to give it that Laker feel. One of my favorite parts of the shoe is probably the split tongue. I think I did a really good job on that. As you guys can see here very very I mean I lined it up pretty well dude. It's like lined up with like the heel stitching as it should be. Um, I noticed on here the court purple tongue is a little bit longer than the Union tongue so we had to move it down. With the unions, it was upper, it was uh, lined up with the upper stitching, but for here we had to move it down to where that lace loop is. And if you guys notice anything different in this video, it's that we use music with lyrics. That's actually kind of a nice change of pace. All music in this video was provided by my dude Wes. I'm gonna leave his Spotify link, YouTube, Instagram in the description below, dude. Check out his music, his music is super dope. If you're watching this, Wes, thank you for letting me use your music, man. I am a big fan. So yeah, guys, welcome back. It's good to be back, man. Um, really glad that you guys are sticking with me watching the videos. I'm thankful for all my subscribers. If you guys are new to the channel, if you're this is your first time peeping out Shots by Mikey video, please hit that subscribe button if you do like the video. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, did you guys like this custom? We are almost at 5,000 subscribers, guys. Let's help me get to 5,000 subscribers. I am truly thankful for each and every one of you guys. Happy holidays to you guys. Enjoy the holidays. Be safe out there. Yeah, guys, that's it. I will catch you guys next time. Peace.